Yo, yo, what's up, you guys? It's Kaysade, and today we're going to talk about the Scionth update that's finally now on PC as well. So, since September of last year, uh, we had this update to the Scionth, uh, which allows it to be 64 bit, allows GUI resizing, and makes it more efficient, and just fixes like minor bugs and just makes it run better. And now, uh, that, that was on Mac, and that also allows lo uh, Logic users to not have to use JBridge anymore and that kind of stuff. So that was great, and now it's finally on PC, which I own Macs, I own PCs, so I've been waiting for this, clearly since I followed the tweets. And uh, yeah, I'm really glad it's here. I think it's been out for like a week or two or something. I, I kind of missed it. So let me kind of show you some of the features. I'll show you the skins and all that stuff, but my favorite feature so far is just the uh, resizing. So I can go ahead and just drag this, make it as big as I want, and you can see it's high quality. It doesn't look very blocky the more I make it bigger or anything like that. So I can keep making it bigger if I want. Uh, when you go to like 200%, it's massive. So I can make it also very tiny, which I, I kind of like that. It's kind of it's kind of cute. Like if I want to just have a bunch of silence right next to each other. And I don't know, it's 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 unnecessary. But uh, yeah, let me go, just go ahead and go size, go to 100%. Um, which is also ha which has a key, which I didn't have a nose. So it's Shift S. And like if I go 200%, it's going to be way too big. <laughs> Silent is here. Um, yeah, holy shit, this is huge. Um, let's rescale it to 100. And I'm going to show you some skins I'll, to make it a little bit bigger. I also like that you can see the percentage that you have it at. So now I have it at 135, which is pretty huge. It, this is a huge monitor and it's um, it's picking up almost all of it. So. Let's see the default, which is like, I think the old, or the new default look, which kind of looks a bit Mogi-ish, um, which is all right, I guess, not really in love with that. I love the classic one now. It's like the old version look, but much nicer and modern and not as bright and ugly. I personally never really loved uh, the silent look, but it's the kind of thing that you fall in love with little by little. It doesn't look attractive at first, and after a while, you just kind of learn to like it. So uh, let's take a look at some of the other ones. I think this one is uh, a fan favorite of like the custom skins that people added to Silent eventually. And I kind of like how they adopted those and put into the new version of it now. So uh, this is the old school one. God damn, this is so ugly. <laughs> this is not pretty to look at. And uh, holy shit, I just never realized how ugly it was. It really is that whole thing. Um, 3.0, so this is, uh, I think I re we saw this one probably. And then there's this one, which is one of my favorite ones uh, of the custom skins I eventually added to Silent. So now this one's just in the program. And let's go back to Classic, because that's my favorite. That one looks like Silent, but it just also looks like the future of Silent. And I like that. And I, so yeah, that's everything you could do with skins and resizing and all that. I think you can set as default for some of that. Uh, or maybe that's a preset, I think. Maybe. I don't know. But let's take a look at the bank section because this is a huge thing for me that they've upgraded and it makes a huge difference in my workflow. So now we can load in banks, but also we can see our custom banks. So if you load in a bunch of banks or your bank folder, now you just go over here and select the bank that you want to use. And it's way easier to just do that and it's quicker than importing and all that. So I, I really, really like that. That to me is a, a big workflow thing and I'm a big person on workflow. So anything that I can have that makes my browsing experience more efficient, I'm all for it. So uh, let's see, what else is there? Uh, the buns are a little bit uh, different. So now you can't really scroll through the wave. Uh, through the wave types anymore. Now you just kind of have to open up the menu and select your wavetable and that's it. I don't really like that. I used to like scrolling through these cause that's how I would work quickly. Um, but I don't mind it, you know, I, it's not a big thing. So that's my only little con is that I, I can't scroll through these anymore, but it makes sense with how the resizing is and all that. So it's give or take. So I'd rather be able to resize than to scroll if that's the reason why that doesn't happen anymore. And uh, honestly, it's still Scionth. I mean, you know Scionth, you know what it sounds like, you know what it does. All you need to know that it now runs better, it looks better, and it's here to stay, and it's moving with times, and in 64-bit version now, 
if your computer is running 64-bit versions of things, now you can have Slant there, and it will run better, and your DAW will run better because 64-bit allows you to use more RAM for other for a lot of things. So uh, that's really it. You guys know Slant. You know what it does. You know everything about it. So I think I've shown you a few of the, ma uh, the things that they changed about it and made better about it. And it's still one of my favorite plugins that I like to use. So I haven't done this in a while, but um, back in the day, I used to always give out free stuff, like free presets, free templates, that kind of stuff for every time I hit like new mouse subscribers or something like that. I haven't done that in a very long time. So I'm going to give you guys a free silent thing to celebrate the, the update for it. So uh, it's just like a little FX bank of like, every type of riser you can imagine, every kind of like white noise sound that's popular and some subs and that kind of stuff. So it's like 64 presets of like ARP risers, uh, LFO risers and envelope risers and all this kind of stuff. So I'm gonna give that to you guys for free. I'm gonna make a page on my website for free downloads. So I'm slowly gonna move away from my Facebook page and just keep it all on my website because um, I created my Facebook page just to give you guys a place to download stuff from me, but Honestly, I kind of hate Facebook pages. They're such a bullshit scam, and uh, it makes you pay to engage your own audience. And yeah, so I'm going to put that, this new FX riser silent bank, whatever I'm going to call it. It'll be right there on, on that new page. You guys check it out, and check out the new update of silent because it's awesome. And thanks guys for watching, and of course, later.